Hello, gorgeous. You are listening to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast. If you don't know, I'm your host, Kayla, and I am so excited that you have found my platform. And for those of you who are returning listeners, hey, sis, welcome back. In today's episode, I am going to talk to you guys about something that I love to talk about. I could talk about it all day. And then I am going to issue a challenge and you guys know how much I love a challenge. Okay. So we are at the end of March, like last week of March, and my mind is blown about how quickly the year seems to fly by. We are at the end of the first quarter. Now, earlier this month, I did share a post and I did a a podcast episode on it. I even think I did a live to tell you that If you have not seen the progress and results from this year or your goals that you set for yourself so far, it's okay. Like you do not have to freak out. There is still plenty of time to have tremendous growth, to make monumental changes and to still have an incredible 2024, okay? This first quarter was a free trial and it's time to get your game face on. There's still time. Do not beat yourself up. But how much success you can have is highly dependent upon how uncomfortable you're willing to get to reach your goals. How uncomfortable are you willing to get? I know I keep saying that, but it's because there's no growth in your comfort zone. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. And I know I it seems like I'm packing all these cliche things together, but guys, it is what it is, okay? So right now on TikTok, there is a professor who's gone viral, absolutely viral, because he gave his class a choice. They could dance for 15 seconds, or they could write a 15,000 word paper that was due that day. And in his classroom, only one person chose to dance. What? Do y'all know how fast I would have hit the quan, the heel toe, like stanky leg, anything, 15 seconds? Baby, I got 30 in me, 30 good seconds, right? And it's easy for me to say because I'm a dancer, I'm an extrovert, I'm really live and wiry, but I know tons of people, even as active as they are and as fun and lively as they are, would have chosen the paper out of fear of judgment out of fear of being uncomfortable, out of fear of what if I do something wrong? Everyone's going to be looking at me. You know what? I'd rather struggle through the paper. It is time out for struggle because the truth of the matter is the way that we become competent of of anything, the way that we become competent in anything is by practice. It's by getting out there. It's by doing the thing. Like nobody is perfect. Absolutely nobody's perfect. And so that whole classroom of people went home and had to dig up and (laughs) deep dive and come up with 15,000 words when in 15 seconds, getting a little bit uncomfortable, getting out of their chair, making a quote full of themselves, it would have been over. It would have been done. They would have been on to the next thing and had so much time and space and joy for all kinds of things that they wanted to do. So where in your life, this is your challenge, where in your life can you get a little bit uncomfortable for your dream? Where can you push your edges? Where can you say, you know what? This feels a little bit scary to me. This feels a little bit off to me, but you know what? I need to do this for my growth. Maybe it's going to the grocery store and speaking to a stranger. Maybe it's speaking up in the morning meeting at work. Maybe it's asserting yourself with a partner or family member who's constantly running over you. Where can you get uncomfortable so that you become a better you? Where? Where can you choose a little bit of discomfort instead of consistent struggle? Where can you take some of the weight off? I want you to think on that throughout the week. Noodle on it. Drop down below if you're listening to me because I am going to stream this. Drop down below. Tell me, would you have danced or would you have written the paper? Because I need to know where my dancers is at. In fact, drop a gif and show me what kind of dance you would have done. That I need to see, definitely. I love you. I want the best for you. I am praying that you have an excellent week on purpose. And we, girl, will chat in the next one. Bye now. Well, gorgeous girl, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you found value, insight, or strength. 
I hope something was said that gave you the courage to push on a little while longer toward the life of your dreams. If you felt motivated during this segment, screenshot this and throw it in your stories and tag me on social. That way we can keep the message going. Have an excellent day on purpose and we girl will talk in